Mark Zuckerberg defending Facebook before the Senate today. For today's Inside the Law, Wendy Patrick joining us with what's at stake. Wendy, good morning. Good morning. Everybody's trying to figure out right now, what do we do? Do we run and cancel our Facebook right. account? What exactly was hacked and taken? And what is happening with this Cambridge Analytica scandal? Well, what's happening now, Raul, is this broke, I, I don't even want to say last week because we've been talking about it for quite a while. It's right. been under the radar. But basically, 87 million uh, and up users have had their data compromised. Now, what does that mean as a practical matter right. to you and I and everybody else that uses Facebook? Facebook has decided, per Mark Zuckerberg, to become proactive, not reactive. Now, we wish that it happened back when it yeah. was formed in you know, the late 2000s. Nonetheless, what they're looking at now, and this is going to be a focus of the congressional testimony mm -hmm. today, is what went wrong, how did they miss it, what can they do better, and what comes next. We know that's going to be the substance of what Zuckerberg is going to relay because he got out in front of the story after being silent for a couple days, you remember? Mm -hmm. He got out in front of it and has given as many news media interviews as necessary to really lay out why we should feel comfortable remaining on the platform. The question now, how serious of a breach of privacy are we talking about here? We're talking about what users voluntarily posted on the site, right. but thought that they could control uh, within their circle of friends and whoever so they legally, chose to share So legally, thinking it. that we have control because we have these privacy settings, that perhaps is misleading and misguided towards the users? It was, and, and Zuckerberg has been very candid and transparent about sure. that should have been more, that should have been more apparent. What we're looking at now is, we're back to the old adage, think before you post, mm -hmm. post, you know, choose your friends carefully. Yep. How, how many do you think, and I just checked this this morning, what's the average number of Facebook friends that each of us has? A normal, a couple hundred, a 338. thousand? 338. Okay? 338. If you had to sit down and write a list of 338 oh, of your friends, could you do that? And if you no. couldn't, who are those people? Right. That's assumption of the risk. At least it was. Now, of course, Zuckerberg is saying, no, there's going to be privacy settings that allow you to control not only what you share, but what your friends share. That was the problem with Cambridge Analytica, is these people downloaded the app, right. um, they were able to take the personality test, and they granted access to anybody in their friends' network. That was a problem. Oh boy. Um, there was the understanding when you sign up for Facebook that look, this is a public thing. It's, you're putting your pictures out there, you're putting your comments out there. But what happens along the way when it becomes in, in, entrenched in our culture and it's part of what everybody, how does that responsibility then change for a guy like Mark Zuckerberg? Well, you, he, you know? well, he actually has addressed exactly that because he wants people to feel comfortable using the site. He doesn't want people to shut it down. But he also wants to give the user greater control over your own privacy mm. settings and the settings of people in your network. That's going to be the difference. And I got to tell you, you know, they are warming up the hot seat for yeah, him right now. It's going to be a grilling. It's going to be contentious. But no doubt he's prepared to lay out what Facebook is going to do better for people like you and I and our viewers that want to continue to use the site. What's he going to say that he hasn't already said? Well, he's probably anticipating some different questions that are being formulated in response to what he's already said. Right. In other words, some of these lawmakers are going to express outrage. Some of it's going to be very authentic. Some of it's going to be, as we all know, <laughs> right? You said it, not me. Yeah, but yeah, he's that's got, true. He's got to be prepared for that. Uh, and he's just got to listen to everything, take it in stride, and no doubt he's going to come up with another public statement even after the testimony today and tomorrow. So should Facebook users give up? their accounts? Do we wait and see what happens here? Not according to Mike Zuckerberg. Now, of course, lots of people shut down their accounts all the time sure. because they're either oversharing or they're just private, which means that's probably not the site for them anyway. A lot are going to take a wait and see approach to see exactly what he says, and they want to see how he's going to be proactive, what yeah. he's going to commit to do to users. They are going to find out, by the way, Raul, this week on their screens, data sharing apps, they're going to learn a lot more about what privacy settings are available to them. It's almost like you don't want to know how the sausage is made. And all the social <laughs> media apps, that's kind of how they run. There's a certain understanding that, look, your information, you're putting it out that's there. That's exactly it's right. It's out there for the world. Anything you say can and, you, can and will be used, used against, against you, you or used to persuade you, as was done with Cambridge Analytica. I, I wanted to ask you about the, the, the security and the privacy settings on Facebook. They've been known over the years. You have it set, and you think you have it set to your private, but then when they change it or they update, Everything goes back to normal and they don't tell you. Is that part of the issue here as Absolutely. well? Absolutely. You've got to be aware of the updates. There's obviously, everybody says. And it's confusing. Well, it's confusing. People don't keep up with it. Everybody's right. got busy lives. But in order to keep up with the privacy settings, that's got to be something Zuckerberg's going to make clear yeah. how Facebook is going to make it easier 
for us to be able to do that. It shouldn't be all on us. Where is my information? This Cambridge Analytica took it and they gave it to people saying Supposedly the it was deleted. Supposedly. Just the, the day before yesterday was some information that, well, maybe it wasn't all deleted. But yeah. the, the firms that took it claim to have deleted it. That's actually right now under investigation, Raul. Boy, oh boy. I just thought I take the app off my phone and I'm good. Just shut it all down, Apparently right? Apparently not. Good off of uh, social media. We'll see what happens. Uh, it's <laughs> going to be a big couple of days uh, in Congress and for in sure. uh, the nation's capital. Wendy Patrick, we thank you as always. Thank you. For your expertise here. Uh, we'll